All right, here's the demo video if um, you would like to make a teacup shape mug or cup um, using one of these templates. There's a small template already over here, there's a medium one, and it looks like a larger one. So if you want a um, cup that looks a little bit more elegant, um, this will be the template for you. So you can see I've already cut a slab out and I'm gonna get rid of the texture that the canvas leaves behind, just with the damp sponge and pressure. And speaking of pressure, I'm going to put down a little bit of pressure as I smooth out the surface because I want to compress all of the clay in the slab. It will just make the slab that much stronger. All right, now I'm gonna even out my slab just by rolling it a few times. Again, this will get rid of any additional texture. And you want your slab to be about a quarter of an inch thick. All right, so a um, eh, quarter of an inch inch, I guess. Anyway, all right, so now that I've prepped my slab, I'm gonna put my template on there. And this could be a template that you make. This could be um, a template that's here. Um, all right, so you're gonna need some space in your slab for the bottom. Deja McGee, please report to nice. the main office. Deja McGee to the main office, please. So you don't wanna like cut your slab out right in the middle. You're just gonna to wanna to leave some space here. So I'm gonna cut, oopsies, oopsies again. My shape with a needle tool or my fettling knife. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side because again, I'm gonna need this clay uh, for the bottom of my cup. All right, so I've got my little teacup shape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a bevel edge on each end of this. That's when I wrap this around, it's gonna make a nice snug fit at that seam. A bevel edge is 45 degrees. So again, instead of having an edge that's just a straight down cut or 90 degrees, you're gonna take your fettling knife, 90 degrees. All right. Now, with that said, you're going to want to do a 90 degrees the other on the other end, but instead of this is coming out this way, you're gonna make a 45 degree angle or bevel cut this way. So again, it's not like this, it's like this. That'll again, give that seam a nice snug fit. All right, I think. Yeah, all right, so now what we're gonna do is score, 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 score. Score the ends. Get some slip on there. Because because this is a functional piece of artwork that we're using, a cup, we want that seam to be nice and strong. So a cup can go through you know, a bisque firing and a glaze firing. And if that join is really, really, really not very good, it can still break even while it's being used. All right, so I'm gonna make this fit. And you can see because of that, um, that bevel cut, it's a nice snug fit like this. I don't know if you can see that. Join that really well. Then I can use my finger, my thumb, or this part of your wooden tool. Works really well 
for smoothing out that seam. And then I'm gonna use this tool to clean it off a little bit. Oh, if you can see down inside there, I'm going to use this tool to smooth this seam in here. For the outside seam, my preference is to go in between this wooden thing. as well as my thumb. Okay, so I have this nice cone shape. I'm gonna put it on a banding wheel and I'm gonna take a look at it. I'm kneeling down just to kind of see if it's even. So I'm looking at it at a, a level view. And any side that I see that's a little bit wonky or it's a little bit too high, I'm just gonna pat down. All right, now I can start to form the lip of my cup. And the lip of a, any type of cup, anything that you're gonna be drinking from, you want it to be comfortable. And I found that Cups that are a little bit thinner are more comfortable and the user is less likely to dribble. So I'm just gonna start that smoothing process of my lip right here. All right, and I'm gonna do some more later, right? Because I wanna get this bottom on. All right, so I'm gonna bring back this piece. And I'm gonna cut out just like a smaller piece so it's easier to handle. Handle, mug, cup, get it. Anyway. Um, so you've got a few choices as far as how you want to deal with the bottom. You could cut it flush. Or you could cut it a little bit bigger than the perimeter of the bottom of this and kind of um, after you've slipped and scored the bottom on, you could like mush it up and it could be part of the outside design. But for this, I'm going to make it flush. So what I'm doing is just cutting around. All right, and you can see that it's flushish. I should have said that before. Um, and this will kind of give us some clay to kind of play around with if we need to like weld some up there. Because again, that's another pretty serious join right here is the bottom of your mug. So as we know, we want these two things to stick together. So I'm gonna take my scoring tool and score it. Score this side. Make it all nice and slippy. Fit it. Jimmy jam that down. I'm gonna cut off the excess. And there's what my bottom looks like. It's not very pretty right now, but what I can do is, again, take my thumb, and 
and I can start welding that join right there. Looks pretty good and coney. Take a ruler. Just kind of pat the shape right so this is a cup or a mug that's got a really severe like conical shape to it um, what I'm gonna want to kind of focus on right now is the inside so um, a well-designed mug or cup is not gonna have any little spaces or crevices or corners where food matter or drink matter is going to um, get stuck and possibly grow bacteria later on. Plus we want this to be easy to clean. So I'm even going to add some clay maybe to make the bottom of this a little bit nice and rounded and not so cornery. If you understand what that means. I'm really going to use my thumb and my sponge to get this. All right. Now if I look down on it, I'm going to see if it's still round. It's pretty roundish. All right. I'm going to take some time to round out this lip. I'm going to decide on a handle. Um, because this is more of like a demure, like elegant cup, I don't want to put some big honking handle on it. Maybe I want to put something that's um, a little bit more delicate. Um, in you know conjunction with the design of this little teacup mug whatever you want to call it so after I decide on a handle shape I'm going to put this on a surface wrap it in a plastic bag with my handle let's say this is my handle with my handle in the shape that I want it to be I'm going to wrap it in plastic and I'm going to let both of these get to the same stage of leather hardness so that eventually they can be joined. I couldn't join them right now because um, this is a little bit harder um, uh, than this just by just by working with it. So again, we want to make sure that the um, that these both of these parts are in the same exact stage or have the same exact amount of moisture. So we're just going to kind of let them dry out a little bit together. Okay, so we went from here to here. <laughs>